High officials said that this is a crushing blow to the Orange County Mexican Mafia. Now, we're told that the majority of the defendants you'll see are already in custody, but nine others were arrested between last night and this morning. Now, FBI and local officials announced the federal indictment today and said this is the result of a years long investigation that is ongoing. A grand jury indictment charges 31 Orange County Mexican Mafia members and associates with alleged racketeering, murders, attempted murders, drug and gun charges. From 2016 to April 2022, Johnny Martinez, Robert Aguirre and Dennis Ortiz are accused of being the leaders of criminal activities in OC and within OC jails and prisons. Officials say some of the other defendants served as shot callers, mouthpieces, representatives and secretaries. Now officials say that the OC Mexican Mafia preyed on vulnerable communities using fear and violence, controlled the majority of street gangs throughout OC and received quote unquote taxes paid Paid by gangs to allow them to deal drugs in that area. Officials say they're connected to violent crimes, including murder. United States Attorney Tracy Wilkinson said many neighborhoods felt the impact of their destructive conduct and this disrupts operations of the Mexican Mafia. Have we, you know, eradicated the Mexican Mafia? The answer is no. Um, but this is a, a continuing investigation, and I think that the message that this case sends is that if you rise to power in that vacuum, we will come for you. When you're talking about prison gangs and when you're talking about um, the, the, the spread that they have, and certainly when you're talking about the Mexican Mafia, they have reached far beyond Orange County uh, into not only the rest of the counties um, locally here in Southern California, but the rest of the United States. Today's indictment charges high-level officials in the Mexican Mafia. And the indictment charges the Southern California gang leadership, in other words, those involved in using their power to organize and direct violent criminal activities committed by gangs throughout Southern California. Now, we're told that the defendants will be moved into federal custody and arraigned. Some of the charges can potentially carry a penalty, a maximum of life in prison. Live in Orange, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.